Hello and welcome to the Talking Shrimp Podcast. I am joined today by... I am Joel. Hello Joel, and I'm Mitchell, and yes, this is the Talking Shrimp Podcast. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for <clears throat> joining us on this, hopefully, wonderful Friday. It's a beautiful, crisp Friday. Hopefully. I'm telling you now, sun, it will be. Yeah, hope, yeah, the sun is in the sky, it's, it's yep. blissful, it's, what, what's the word I'm trying to say? Blissfully in the sky. It's it blissfully is hot. In the sky. Uh, it's sweaty in areas where it's, it's not so normally... Hot. It's wonderful. It's muggy, it's sticky, it's bleh. Welcome to summer. Oh, well, anyway. we, do you know what? We're saying this. I just read the other day. Yes. This is meant to be the most rainfall in the UK for a summer in years. Decades. Yeah, decades. Do you know what that is? What's that? I just burped. Sorry. Greta. That's what it is. I don't think it's Greta's fault. Well, no, no, not specifically her. But just in general. I think know. she's the one trying to do you know what I say draw to attention this? to stop it. True. Do you know what I say? What do you say? I'd like to confirm my um, my joining of uh, Just Stop Oil as of today. <laughs> I've joined them. <laughs> oh, I thought I saw you sat on the road the I, other day. I've joined them, yeah. My my palms still hurt, but yeah. What did you do? Yeah, I sat them together instead of on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and just carried on your day. <laughs> yeah. Everyone left me. They thought I was praying. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Not, not Just Stop Oil as in the oil that is is in in their sense bad. I'm saying just stop oil as in I don't like putting sun cream on. Bad. Do you, Do you know, know what I, mean? I think? I think they should just lower the prices of it to put in my car. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. Wait, then, wait, 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 wait. And then we what? just use it till it's use, run out. What do you use in your car? Olive oil. Oh. And is, then she, I... is she the one married to Popeye? I'm married to who? Popeye. 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 I don't <laughs> get the joke. It kind of came, it came in... Two things. I don't Popeye. Under, I don't understand the like joke. Spinach, like spinach. But what's that got to do with olive oil? He's married to her. Is that actually true, or is this a joke? Yeah. Go on, look it up. I'm not looking it up. It is. I will You're believe on your phone. you. I have. I have proof. There's right no, now, there's no proof. I'm not on my phone. I'll take a photo of you. Bang. <laughs> Phone's away. Now you're on your phone. Ah, oh, you. Inception. You've been. Oh, you've done it again. Every time. Oh. Every time. Sorry. I actually no. I'm not sorry. I'm just being myself. Me, myself, like and Tinky I. Tinky Winky. Well. Dipsy. Anyway. La La. Poe. Poop. Poe. Yeah, anyway. Which, which weirdly favorite? isn't the first time we spoke about My the Teletubbies favorite. today. No, it actually isn't. Over a lovely, lovely um, meal with, with uh, your your family. So. Well, yeah, some of them. Some of which, yeah. Some of the family. Yes, I yeah. can't tell you how we got onto that, but yeah, Teletubbies. Tell us your favourite. Yeah, to let us know your favourite Teletubby. Yeah. Mine's the red one. Nah. Poe. Nah. What's, who's your favourite? The superior one. Tinky Winky. Why is he superior? He is the, the one. If Why you ask he? if you ask everyone, name a Teletubby. Tinky Winky, straight away. No, Poe. No, Tinky Winky. Poe is the first one that comes to my head. Tinky Winky. I could dropkick Poe. What's the other one's called? Milo. La-la. No, that's that's from the Tweenies. That is. Oh, the Tweenies. What a show. Wait, what, who'd you say? Lala. Lala. Dipsy is the other one. Dipsy. That used to be my favourite one, I think, as Dipsy. a kid. Yeah. yeah, I know, because you were banging your head against a banister <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? I don't think you'd get away with calling a, a character Dipsy these days. Probably not. Or banging your head against a banister. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think that was advertised, but that's what I did. <laughs> And this yeah. is how we turned out. Anyway, what a secret that is into Mitchell's childhood. Yeah, I used to bang my. Head. I used to like. That's all I got up to. I didn't. I didn't used to play the full floor was lava. No. I just used to like. He's really jumping. got into ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm that. I used to just like jump him from sofa to sofa in my yeah. like, in yeah. my house. And what that would entail sometimes is I'd jump too far and just bang my head against the like. <laughs> in, in in my living room, there's like a railing around the middle. Like he's yeah. got a skirting board at the bottom. There's like a like a little nipple that pokes out in the middle of the oh. like on the walls. A little and, nipple? Uh, yeah, and I used to just throw myself and <laughs> just go too far and hit my head <laughs> like an idiot. No, yeah. That's true. That was me anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I like that in childhood. I, we, we could do a few childhood stories. We could. We'll we just drop one you in any there. any childhood but... short stories that you want to... I could go? tell a jelly bean story. A jelly bean story? I didn't think I was going to talk about this today when oh, I started this no. podcast. I don't but like the sound of this. But basically, yeah. oh. um, basically, I had like... To be fair, I've ruined the story, so I'm not going to say it. I'm going to wait now Whoa, and what? come back. I've ruined it. I've ruined the story. Well, the jelly bean story. Yeah. I've Why is it. it not a jelly bean? Is it a fruit pastel? No, the, the issue oh. is that I shouldn't have called it the jelly bean story. Oh. Because that's what it was. Okay, audience, that's retract. That's the story. Forget. So just forget about that. Yeah. I'll Do you come want back to tell to it later. any um, childhood stories, Mitch? No, I'm not doing it now. What? Do you want to, try to tell any childhood stories? I don't know. I don't know a lot off the top of my head. I mean, 
my mum used to stop me watching um, Cat Cat in the Hat because I used to throw stuff down the stairs. Is that <clears> something that happens in Cat in the Hat? I can't remember. I don't know. I think he surfboards down the stairs. I didn't do that. I just threw stuff down him. <laughs> <laughs> For why? That and she blamed be... Michael Myers. Yeah, fair enough. I would. Yeah. Get out of my swamp. That was a poor Scottish yeah. accent. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Well, I was going to start with Ick of the Week, but I suppose we could do some childhood stories at some point. Well, no, no, I like, I like I'll come Ick back the to the, the story that I was referring to. Referring to. Ick of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> I am using that as the sound <laughs> bite if I ever do anything with this. Yeah. You're just going, Ick of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, I could so, do it differently if you want. But yeah, go on. Is... Try and give me an intro. Ick, Ick, Ick of the Week. Say Ick, Ick, Ick of the Week. Right, no, I like the first go. one. I preferred the first Ick. one. Of the week. Yeah. There you go. That's beautiful, mate. That's I know. Perfect. Lovely. Anyway, bang, straight in there. Ick of the week. Is? Nice and simple today. Mm-hmm. Wearing super dry. Anything. Anything. Specifically yeah. jackets was the, I think, what the person was referencing. Yeah, I can... Super and, dry, like, raincoats and jackets. Yes, that's what I was going to specify. Yeah. 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 Don't know why, but I kind of agree. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a, just a, a crappy brand, in my opinion. Oh. It is, isn't it, really? Mitch has gone full Tory. I'm not a oh, big fan. Tory, in no, there. no, it's not Whip-boo. Tory, is it? It's just, I don't know, it's a bit of a, just a bit of a... No, I agree. I, know I just don't mean. like it as a brand. It's not, I wouldn't say yeah, I ever there's, would... There's certain brands that, uh, brands that I look at and, and yeah, I completely agree. Yeah. Gone off a lot. I would say I've looked in there in the past and there's some things I do like, but on the majority, not a big fan. No. I think it's like two, it's like two 2012 era. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. that's why. Anyway, that was a nice short ick of the week. As always, yeah. thank you for submitting. I've got another thing that I don't really like, though. Oh, go on. When people wear socks in bed. Hold that for a second. Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, if hold. You, hold. Uh, thank you for submitting sub, uh, your Ick of the Week. If you could please keep submitting more. I'm always interested in hearing more, and hopefully you're interested in hearing them as well. So, yeah. If you've got an Ick in your partner or friend or family member or whatever, doesn't always dog. notice in yourself. Or your fluffy pet dog. But no, dogs don't have Icks. Please send it in. Let us know. Let us know what the Ick is. Some dogs are scratchy. Anyway, back to... I like Socks in bed. Dogs. Sorry. I used to have a scratchy dog. Yeah, you did. She was like a barrel. She was a barrel. She was a big dog. She, she, was, was, a she was a thick dog. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, she was good. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it just got me, man. What? The thick barrel of a dog. <laughs> she was a thick barrel <laughs> she of was. a dog. She was. She was. Go down to the cellar and go get your thick barrel dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was a thick, thick girl. Oh, she had to have a she pram. She's like the, the end, gravy mate. tray. She did. I've got a picture of her in a pram. I'm not using that as the picture of the podcast. No, but if you do want to see that, we will DM at you. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. I don't mind showing you, but I'm not going to publicly yeah. release it. Chick's well happy, bless her. Yeah. yeah, rest in peace. God, God save her. Thank God, you. God rest, rest in peace. Past uh, the rainbow, 14th bridge. of February. Yeah, 2020, 2014. No. Late in that, 2018? No. 2020? 2020, I think. 2020, I was well off. I was six years out, that's mental. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway yeah, so, so, so. Enough of sadness about dogs passing. Yeah, socks. Socks in socks, bed. Socks in bed, what, what's your issue with I don't it? mind them if, if, like, it's a cold night, you know, it's 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 literally snowing outside, fair enough. But, yeah, socks in bed that you, that you commit to every day of the year, no. 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 What happens if you're wearing, I presume, hold on a minute, hold on. Socks in bed. With other items of clothing or without? Do you mean just socks in bed is your issue? Or socks in bed? No, whatever generally. you're wearing. Whatever you're wearing. Whether you're in a onesie, whether you're in a nice lingerie. Whatever you're wearing. If you Always. have socks on. I know. Yeah. But that's what I mean. No socks. No socks. So even if you're like in a massive thick onesie. Yeah. Take your socks off. You'd still go sockless. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, right. I mean, I don't really wear. I always wear shorts and a t-shirt when in bed. Same. So... Same. I would never wear socks anyway, I don't think. But yeah, I, I don't like the feel. It's too restrictive. I, I've got to get these, got to get them piggies breathe. free, mate. They need, <laughs> they need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> they need to breathe, like blossom. Yeah. So do you do the same? Anyway, so what, what, yeah, what? I do the same. Are you saying that's your ick? It's a no. When I, when I get into bed, my routine is to, like, when I'm settled, I'm like, right, I'm not moving. This is it now. I'm dead. So dead to the world. Yeah, socks I, I, off. I take my socks off and then I throw them to the end of my bed, ready to just put in the in the wash basket the next morning. Um, or if I need to put them back on by any chance, you know, if there's a, a fire or a bird or you know something like that. <laughs> oh, what a bird! Yeah, 
What do you mean a bird? Birds can get in, can't they? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean they can get in? <laughs> Bir- You've seen birds, haven't you? you know, yes, <laughs> I've seen birds. Not in my house. I've not no. seen the birds in my house. No, but they're well, idiots. Wait, 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 wait. So let me wait. So you wake up. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> let me create a scenario that I think is fucking hilarious. You're lying in bed. You wake up. Yeah. Oh, it smells like burning here. I better put my socks <laughs> on. Not at the same time. No, no. Let me out. Let me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it smells like burning. Oh, I better get my socks on. Yep. Alternative, you wake up and go. Oh, I don't smell burning. Yeah, like. Oh my god, there's a bird. <laughs> let me get my socks on. <laughs> Let me get my socks on. Yeah, the bird's panicking. Yeah. Why did you yeah. use your socks on to get rid of a bird? Well, just you know, in case you run around the house, or whatever. I've got laminate downstairs. It's hard. <laughs> You're skidding down there. Oh God, that just wrote yeah. me that did I? No, it's just it's you know it's a silly thing that I said, but it's true because I said it. So there you go. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But birds. Oh mate, that really wrote me that. <laughs> I have not. I'm still smiling from you saying <laughs> that. Job, that yeah. wrote me off. Yeah. That full time wrote me. Yeah. T- a shrimp um, top t- chop. Tip. That's hard. That's so hard to say. We do that all the time. Top tip. There yeah. you go. Is um yeah. If you have um a bird that makes its way into your gaff at night, make sure your socks are at the end of the bed, just in case. Unless you have a pet bird. Would you ever have a pet bird? Um, like a parrot or a uh, uh, what's the other one you get? Parrotite. I'd go more exotic. I'd have like a toucan. You know. I'd- a toucan. I don't know if you can a have them as pets. That, like, but... it just like it just makes the like wooden you like with its beak. <laughs> it's mad that that's oddly satisfying. Yeah, I'd get it'd get very annoying, but yeah. yeah, but not just that. Like if you know you you oh it's it's Christmas you got you got your your nuts you know oh, none of them have opened you whack it in the toucan don't you? <laughs> just... It's like whacking fifty p in the meat. Oh. It's Christmas. Yeah. I better whack, whack yeah. some nuts in the pigeon. Yeah. I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That was really good. Oh, I got me. Oh. Yeah, and I reckon a toucan. I reckon you could use it, the end of its beak as a not a, a small one, but a, a, a medium-sized screwdriver. <laughs> it's, I knew you were going for a yeah. screwdriver as well. Yeah. I was thinking hammer, and I was like, "You're not going to say hammer because yeah. that'd be no, animal, to, animal, animal cruelty." Yeah, and you could have it like when you're cooking. And you're like, oh, I don't want to leave this in the pan, like the the um, spoon or anything, whatever. Just give it to the toucan. They'll hold it for you. <laughs> All my bags every toucan. <laughs> it's like, I'm imagining it as a JML advert. It's like, JML! The toucan! Multi-purpose! <laughs> it's just a toucan in every different scenario. Yeah, I agree. Having trouble carrying your yeah. shop at home? Yeah. Here's the toucan. I have an itchy foot toucan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Forty nine ninety nine reduced today, especially <laughs> fifty pounds. <laughs> Posting your package is free. Other charges may apply. There you go. Lovely, lovely small print. If yeah. anybody wants an advert for a, to- a toucan, you can use that audio yeah. clip. Do you know? Have you ever watched uh, George of the Jungle? The cartoon with Fraser. No, uh, no, it's it's like a. I've seen a cartoon oh, one as a kid. Yeah, and it's it has a toucan in it. Um, okay. I can't remember what it's called, and the toucan says something like, "Like Not too loud, was it? Don't uh, blow the speaker out now." <laughs> Ah, ah, ee, ee, tookie, tookie. <laughs> what? It says that. Weirdly, though, you've clicked something in my mind there, and I feel like I remember. Ah, ah, ee, ee, tookie, tookie. <laughs> it does. What is happening? It does it. Go search on, on Google, YouTube, whatever. Um, George of the Jungle, Toucan, and that will come up. Other web providers are available. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, man. Maybe we should have, like, a, a shrimp search engine, you know? Uh, Anything that you search goes immediately to shrimp. The definition on Wikipedia right. of shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God! What? This is a bomb to drop, isn't it? Oh God! Oh, I shouldn't say that, but yeah, it is. Um, my sister yes. went to IKEA. Um, well, now a couple of weeks. Ago, oh my God! But in reference, oh almost shrimp. Shrimp. She got. I think they're called <gasps> shrimp crackers. <gasps> oh. For dogs. Oh. I don't know if they're specifically for dogs. I thought you were going to say... my dog like does a... like them. Uh, uh, yeah. This is when you find out they're not meant to be for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> he likes them. So, uh, t- okay. So, but we've tried shrimp crackers and they were horrible. Yeah, they weren't very nice at On all. I, I think they're like... Christmas Eve? New Year's Eve? Yeah, I think so. We do have a video of that. that but it, it will never come out. Well... It will never come well, out. We did a... Uh, well. If you go back on our TikTok, we did a few like... Um, Food testing videos. Yes. 
prior to them ones, we was did our good we, friends. We I did uh, we did one, and it uh, it will never be released to air. No, for reasons. Yeah, that if will you, not be discussed like, on the podcast. Well, I can give you I can give you a, a, a euphemism. Yeah. Lipstick. Wanna... Lipstick, yeah. There you go, lipstick. I think we've discussed it in the past weirdly on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. But there we are. Yeah, didn't realise at the time. <laughs> no. But watching it back, we were like, oh, we can't use this. Yeah, bless him. He was having a lovely time. <laughs> um, yeah. So we got have my dogs. My dog did a barrel roll the other day. By mistake. He fell my, off the sofa. Mine went full Mr. Whippy today, mate. <laughs> he, yeah, he fully did. He followed, yeah. followed me into your toilet. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, who are you? You can't use this. You bark, bark, bark. <laughs> my dog yeah. does bark a lot too. We love dogs. Anyway. anyway, what were you saying about your dog? Oh, he did a barrel roll. He fell off the sofa. Oh, bless him. Bless him. Well, it wasn't his fault. He was doing a bit of, you know, you know, like the, the dog Zoom. He was rubbing his snout. He just had a, a drink and stuff. He was rubbing it all over the sofa. And I was like, oh, stop it. Stop it, mate. And he's uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> I know he, what you mean because I know what he does. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And then he, yeah, barrel rolled. He just, he just sort of somersaulted off. Bless him, and he just oh, hit the deck. I heard his collar on there, and he jumped back up, and he was like, "Ta da!" There you go, good lad. Yeah, I was like, "Idiote, puta." Idiote. Oh no, don't say puta. Je suis sali au tête. <laughs> but I am ahead. Why? <laughs> no. Why do you keep doing this? <laughs> I don't know, just attempting to learn a different language. You know, but I'm you're trying. not attempting. You're just saying trying. random words that you know that are French. Yeah. But put them together so they make sense. It doesn't make sense. Je m'appelle à la pomme de terre. <laughs> I, am a, I am a potato. My name is... My, my name is My potato. name is a Wait, potato. My name is apple. No, pomme de terre. What's pomme de terre? Potato. Potato. I always get that wrong. Apple around. of the earth. Apple of the earth, yeah. Yeah. Je suis allé à la piscine de chambre. I am a fish house. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, I like... Is it... Is piscine fish or swimming? Swimming pool, isn't it? <laughs> Lay piscine in my in my bedroom. <laughs> Sh- uh, Sh- wait, Chambre House yeah, or I bed? Chambre is like the chamber. Oh, like no, probably. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been in French, right? If yeah. someone's listening to this and knows any French, yeah, please translate oh, everything nailed. Joel says, apart from oui, that one. Stop! Stop! This is why Baguette. other nations hate the English. By the way, j'ai tu en commun et vu. <laughs> Just because you're putting like accents on it doesn't mean it makes any more it of a does. sense. Yeah, yeah. sure. What's, anyway. what's, what's, oh, oh no, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's no, fine. go on. What are you gonna no, say? no, no. I'm just trying to work out what's what's the talking shrimp in in uh, French. Oh, oh. Talking about my dog barking. Can you hear him? He, I I told you he knows French. He's not now. No, he hasn't. Anyway, I, je suis. he doesn't know French, mate. He's from Romania. He doesn't know French. <laughs> oh, do they speak now? They speak Romanian. So. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. What's just happened? Uh, this hot, we started this podcast. We were like, "What are we going to talk about?" I don't know. We'll sort. We'll work something out. Yeah, everything. We've discussed childhood, not traumas, but memories. Yeah. We've discussed the ick of the week, mm. and we've discussed my dog doing a Mister Whippy and your dog doing a barrel roll. Yeah, basically, and a bit of French in between. Do you know what's mental? Talking about Mister Whippy, the price of like everything. Well, yeah, that and global warming. Don't get a Mister Whippy. Oh. Don't walk. Is that a sexist now? Can but, I get a Mrs. Whippy? Oh, or true, they? actually. I've never thought about that, but you uh, still, they still get called a Mr. Whippy, don't they? A they Whippy. A they... I don't think they're called that If anymore. I ask for a they Whippy, do I get two Whippies? I think, do you know what's worse than that? Yeah. They're not... Are they still called a 99? Oh, I don't think so, because they're definitely not 99. They're like £3.20, if not yeah. more. Yeah, I completely four pound twenty maybe with a flake. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Do you know what we will do? We'll start our own business that they are a 99. However, they do include a shrimp. Yeah, like a, a real shrimp. A real shrimp. That is moving. Oh, God. Yeah, sorry. The thing is, why have we named this podcast Talking Shrimp? Why have we named us Talking Shrimp? Because well, we've explained this. I know, but like, if anything ever comes of this and I have to deal with fish... Well, you will have to deal with fish at some point. But I don't anyway. want to. I don't well, want to touch fish, though. them. It's not a fish. I don't like it's, shrimps. It's, 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 a, it's a creature of the deep. I don't like them. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't people. want to be involved. I don't like fish. I don't like touching fish. I don't like touching sea yeah, crustaceans. Should we slap? Should we do a, a fish slap on each other? I'd rather Shrimp not. Slap. I'd rather not. That's a shame. I was really. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Sorry to crush your heart, hopes, yeah. and dreams. I personally think that we should try shrimp. Oh no, that's another thing. We should. We should. We're gonna have to at some point. Yeah. All right. Shrimp? Okay. Wait. Hold on. I will try shrimp. Yes. If we get to five hundred subscribers on YouTube. Ooh. We're nowhere near. Well, we're actually like almost one fifth of the way. Okay. So well, that's slightly disappointing. 
it's not too bad, but it's not great either. We are the so, best podcast. Of if you shrimp, so. want to see me eat a shrimp, and yes, I am plugging this to all of our three audience that listen to this. If we get seven fifty, I'll feed it to him from my mouth. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> That's not happening. We'll stay on the 500 mark. Okay, 800. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh! I would, for, if we hit, hit a mill, yeah. I would eat food that you've chewed. <laughs> oh, what about food that I've, I've inhaled? Like, it's in oh, my like, oh, it's like, like a baby bird. Sick, basically. No, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> I'm not eating your sick. I draw a line. I think I could eat like food that you've mushed a little oh. bit for me, <laughs> but not oh, sick. Mushed up. Not not what not food that's already would it gone be, down. Though? I was thinking of shrimp, but I'll, I'll, ice whatever. cream, some of like that. Oh, ice cream's fine. I'll, I'll handle ice cream. Just do that now. Just yeah. Casually do that. Anyway, what I was gonna say was, don't walk but run to your local Nando's. Oh, why? Because they do they do a Mr. Whippy machine. Oh, they do. An we unlimited had, Mr. Whippy machine. Nice, actually, yeah. I don't yeah. know how much it was. Three pound ninety five, I think. Is that what it was? Mate, like that. Worth it. How many Pringles really do you think good. you could put in between your toes before um, they crack? Between my big toe and my no, all of them, all of them. Okay, you can get as many as you like. No, I, I'm trying to work out. Want. There's a big gap between my big toe and the next one. Yeah. Um, and I reckon I could fit there's over a lot of power twenty in, that big toe. in there. Do you reckon? I, mate, there's a, quite 20? a big gap. There's a big gap, mate. 20? Yeah, I think how nice Without anything cracking. Oh, no, they'd maybe crack. That's, yeah, that's what I mean. 10, I think, could fit nicely. 10, oh, yeah, and then I think I could nice fit thing. two between the other gaps. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe about 14. You're good at maths. Is that right, maths? Probably. No, it's not. I said two between the others. Oh. I don't have I don't have four feet, do I? Oh. I have five. So there'd be I never said gap. I was so good at maths. 16, right? Yeah. There's four gaps between five of my toes. Yeah. There's 10 between the ones. Yeah. And there's two between the others, so there's, that's 16. If you want to see Mitch didn't even do good maths. in between his toes, then he'll I do will it. do it. He'll it, just do it. We'll do a TikTok on it, maybe. How many yeah. do you reckon you can fit? Um, without them cracking, ooh, I, I don't think as many as you, because that gap. I think mine are yeah. quite equally spaced, whereas yeah. your, your big toe's big. I've got a big gap between my big toe and the next one, yeah. Yeah. Go on, you've got to give me a number. I don't know, like... 20. So you've gone more than me. You're literally oh. like, you're literally like, I don't think I can do more than you. I said 16 and you've just gone, yeah, 20. No, in, in both feet. like. All, oh, all, I was only counting the span. one foot. Oh, uh, oh I was going right. for, for both. Oh, I'm going 32 then. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see me, put 32 Pringles. Wait, I was only imagining the one foot. Yeah, but the thing is, right, if yours crack, you have to eat mine. <laughs> Your toes? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, vile. Vile stuff. How have we gone to this? Anyway, right, let's let's go on well, to talk, talk about something like specific. Okay, yeah. well the one thing I wanted to talk about while we were talking about stuff like this. Oh no. Have you ever done a risky poo before? A risky poo? Yeah. Never. Do you know what a risky poo is? No, I know what a ghost poo is. Uh, yeah, a ghost poo is. We talk about poo quite a lot. I don't feel like we should delve into that. No, we're gonna. I want to discuss it. Oh, why? Do you know what a risky poo is? I know what a risky poo is. What but... is a risky poo? Yeah, well, uh, elaborate, like, I'm guessing you've got it on your phone. No, it's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm not specifically saying what a risky, well. Actually, I'm not, I'm not involved myself with this. Okay. You, you go for it. Well, I would say a risky poo is when you go for a poo and you don't lock the door. That's what a risky poo is. Huh? And the reason I bring this up is, I accidentally did this the other day. Oh. Went Where? To, uh, <laughs> at a place of work. Oh. I went, okay. went to the toilet, did my business. Was it an accident? Was it, it an accident? It, I, hand on or heart. Or did you want to show someone King Kong's finger? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hand on heart. Uh, hand on heart. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> no. Do you know what I really like? Oh, and I'm not even going to delve into this. No, no it's go disgusting. on. disgusting. It's vi- Anyway, I really like pooing, right? And then you get a bit of backsplash. It's like a thank Oh, no. It's like, th- thanks. Oh, it makes all my fingers... Cheers, mate. Have a wash. Bang. <laughs> oh, it makes all my fingers curl over. That's disgusting. No. Oh. It's vile. It's just like a thank you. It kicks you off. It's like, oh, God. Okay, it's time to go. <laughs> it's like having a personal bidet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine. A chef's kiss on your bum hole. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you said, said it. Now. You Good. said it, you not this up. No, I brought up having a risky poo. I didn't actually yeah. talk about fecal in the water. No, very true. Very but yes, true. anyway, yeah. I accidentally did it the other day. I left I un- left the door unlocked for the procedure that I took. Didn't realise until I was leaving. Uh, and then I went to open the door and was like, oh, that wasn't locked the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been oh, a dangerous game. I could have. Just... So yeah. Hello. <laughs> so I accidentally did a risky poo. There we go. That was all yeah. I wanted to say. Okay, yeah. Got, would you like to change the topic and make it more lighthearted? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we're, we're going to talk about Nana Pat very quickly, okay? 
very oh. quickly. Nothing, nothing major. What? I'm going on to this for a, a, a standard of, of uh, viewing of only transition. which the French might be aware of. Okay. Okay. The French might when, be aware of. When, when, when we last saw Nana Pat, which was long ago at the time of recording, no. she said she was quite proud of us um, for just banging down on the swearing, you know? We, we've well, controlled mate. ourselves. Done well. Quite well, okay? And um, I, I feel proud about it, and I think she did too. And it brought me back to my childhood where maybe I did say a swear word, maybe I said a naughty word, maybe I did something wrong as in verbally, right? She would tell me, don't do that again because I'll wash your mouth out with soap. And just for any context, child abuse, she didn't do it, but it was a threat. And is it a credible threat? Would it have worked? No. Did I believe it? Yeah. <laughs> what? Do you believe that she'd do it or believe that it would both it'd stop it'd clean your mouth out after For a time a I, would, I, word. I had about six to eight months in my head where I was trying to work out whether this would actually work scientifically. You're like you went you, you, She's gonna take away words that I know in my brain. <laughs> with soap. Oh, you mean like that? <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant it would like dirty your mouth saying a naughty word. Oh no. So no, then no, she'd no, have no. to clean it. No, no, no. You no, no. literally mean she I have seen my nan grab a soap bar and threaten me before. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. So At least it wasn't like a load of them in a pillow bag. Oh god. Is that what you're not did? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not saying yes to that. There's a joke and there's a line. I'm not <laughs> You said it. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. Alright, fair but enough. Yeah, I that's what my nan says. And anyway, because of that, what my point is is like old wives' tales. Old you know, sayings Love that it. that don't really make any sense. They're just sort of sayings that have happened over the years. What what are the stupidest ones? What what have you got any that you want to discuss, basically? Um, main one for me. Yeah, it's got to be the cracking knuckles. Like I'm awful at. Hold on, can I? Oh no! I, I, trigger warning! Trigger warning! Ah, ah that's me. Them. That's Two me. Of <laughs> Two of them. I, usually, like on my fingers, I can do like the knuckle. I can do the fingers. I can yeah. do it left and right. They all mm. pop pretty loudly. I, I did it not a long ago. That's probably why I can't do it. But that is the common misconception, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't give you arthritis. Yeah, apparently it leads to arthritis, but there's no yeah. scientific evidence leading no, to that No, isn't it just like the air in between your bones? Yeah. Or I, something. I mean, put it this way, I don't think it's good. Oh, yeah. Come Personally, on. I don't think it's good, and I'm trying not to do it as much. Yeah. But I just do it sometimes. Yeah. Like, and, and, and now that I've noticed I've... I, I'm going to say it's not going to help, but I notice that my fingers lock up sometimes. Oh. And I have to, like, pop them back into place. And I'm Ooh. getting that now at the age of 26, so... Well, that's not good. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe it's an old wife's tale. Maybe it is actually the truth. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. the other one, on. which I always have in my mouth. Hold on. I don't know if you would have heard that, but no. He chewed, chewing gum. Chewed chewing gum. I always have chewing gum in my mouth. And the other, the the, the misconception that was. Oh. Can you remember this one? Oh. I always. If, if you eat it. Yeah. And it'll stay in your body for like whatever years. Yeah, like seven years, years was like the the common yeah. one. But <clears throat> I always remember my mum and my nan saying that to me as a kid growing up. And I always yep. would be like, I'd be in school and I'd be like, No, I can't have a chewing gum. What well, I accidentally swallow it? Yeah, it'll be in That'll me for be, years. Yeah, until I'm an adult. Yeah, no gum. It, it gum, just comes out. Doesn't yeah, it? it just it just goes straight just, through you. You can't digest it. it just yeah, goes out. it just comes out the way. It so went it's, in. it's it's like chewy it's, sweet corn. It's like yeah. sweet corn. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So yeah, yeah, not true. It won't stay in your body. You ain't accumulating you... chewing gum. No, with with uh, swallowing safar, if you swallowed um, apple seeds, oh, you get an apple tree. Yeah, burn. yeah. The same with chilies. Uh, no peppers. Although I think peppers are actually bad to swallow the seeds. Or is this uh, an old wives' tale again? I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Because I, I yeah. always want to chop a pepper. I'm like, I gotta make sure I get rid of all the seeds out. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm the same, but I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. Maybe she's in your head. I don't exactly. Know. Maybe it's the same thing with the apples. Yeah, that's another yeah, one. Could be. Yeah. I always remember being in primary school and the teacher being like, "Oh, don't eat the apple seeds." Yeah, another the tree one will is... grow inside you. <laughs> <laughs> another one that's like pretty genuine, but it's just stuck in my head. Only because that the peppers stuck in my head, but I can't tell you where from. Is when I had grapes as a kid. Even now, I'm like, I'm I'm chewing this grape. Like I tell myself, "Yep, I've chewed this grape," so then you don't swallow it whole. Why? Well, if you you meant if you give a, a kid grapes, you're meant to cut them up, aren't you? Are you? Yeah. Is it like a massive choking hazard? Oh, fuck that. Oh, I swore. Hey, Sorry. Hey. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no. Nana, nah, fight. Get the soap. Get the soap <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, you naughty, I can't naughty believe I just boy. I can't believe you I just did that. naughty boy. And he said a rude word earlier. What did I say? I'm not repeating it. What did I say? 
Starfish. Oh, the starfish hole. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Sorry. Yeah. Dirty vulgar language. Vulgar there. language. Sorry, Nana Pat, I would not. Sorry, approve. Nana Pat. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what was I saying? What, what was I? What, I have no idea. What brought me onto that? Uh, grapes. Yeah. Why? Why are grapes? They're a massive chicken. Go, go on. Google anything. I'm not googling it. If If you have a kid, you chop it. The grapes, but I'm, fair that's enough. What you do. I never used to have chopped grapes. Be fair, mate. I no, used I to have grapes. That's probably what I got. Oh. I got fat. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> uh, but yeah. But no, I, I agree. I agree. There's a few things like food-wise. Actually, there's quite a lot food-wise, isn't there? There's really? a lot that are food related. There is, isn't there? When carrots. The it. carrots one. Yep. Yep. And carrots improve your eyesight. That's yeah. the, is that that's not the one you heard, is it? No. Uh, carrots no, make it, you glow. Is the one you heard? Yeah, if you eat a load of carrots, you, you well, no, if you eat a load of carrots, obviously you'll see in the dark. Yeah, that's but the the other version of it was yeah, it's like orange juice. as Well, orange juice, carrots. If you drink, if you drink loads of that or anything, you will turn orange. I've never heard that one before. Literally, yeah. the first one's the only one I've heard, which isn't yeah. true. They're just high. Carrots are what high in vitamin. Is it A? I don't know. Yeah, probably. which just I think improves eye health. I don't think it's got anything to do with improving. No, it's it'll just well, let's it'll help. It. It'll help your vision. I Each think, of is us what the eats thing. like a hundred carrots. I thought big f- I, I like carrots. I like carrots soft, off. not crunchy. Uh, oh, I don't know. No, I do like a carrot stick. No, I don't. I like carrot sticks, and yeah. I don't like. Um, what's the other one you dip in hummus? Not hummus. What's the other one you dip in hummus? Parsnip. No, no, not parsnip. What is it? It's not cucumber. Your you can have cucumber, but it's your toe. <laughs> it could be a toe. Someone else's toe. What is it? It's green and long. Celery. Shrek's finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shrek's <sure. laughs> stick. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Uh, no, but yeah, no. That's I, what this is one you said again. Carrots help do what? They make you gr- glow. No, not glow, but like they'll they'll t- um, turn your your skin a certain orangey color. Oh, really? I've never yeah, heard it was that. it was just you know. I've never heard that one before. No, but there's quite a lot with food. Yeah, I I don't know what another one with food that that isn't specific, but is if you eat and then swim. Is it? You got to like leave an hour before swimming. That is true, though. That's not. A yeah, yeah, no, I know. That stops like, you from getting like a stitch and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but I always same with any exercise. I always thought it'd make you throw it back up. It wasn't uh, a stitch. It was you. You oh yeah, I've just had like, hot dog and chips. Hey, look at me now. Hey, and then, uh, <laughs> mate, you, you doing that just reminded me on one of the last oh, no. episodes. I think it was literally last week's episode. So yeah. sorry, you literally did a bit where you're like. And then you'll be like, and you made like a sick noise. You oh, yeah. do it so loud and for such a long period, it's oh, really? disgusting. Oh, it, I mean, it's, it's really? impressive. It's really impressive, oh, but it's it's much, really you. it's really off putting. Thank you very much. I'll uh, anyway, the other old wives' tale, which I think is a a, a big one, yes. shaving like hair and it will grow oh, back thicker. Yes, I've I've heard this. Yeah, yeah. Is, is this a legit thing or not? No, it doesn't. Nah, it's nothing. No, it's, it's nothing to to do. Um. Basically, it just makes your hair spiky when you shave them, and it feels more rough. And then you notice it grow back faster, but it, do- it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. No. It doesn't. No. Well, yeah. If you've got any old, old wives' tales, let us know, please. I got one last one. I got two. I got a few actually. Oh, no, I was just addressing the audience. Oh, well, if you yeah, if you've got any, I'm gonna just say two more, and then if they're not the two you're thinking of currently, I'm sorry. Please let us know what they are. But uh, eating fish is brain food. Not true. Not true at all. Eating fish is brain food. Yeah, like brain, like eating fish is meant to be like make you like uh, more knowledgeable. Oh. We never heard that one before. Not, never not heard that. really. No, no. But explains why you don't like fish. Yeah, true. Sorry. No, yeah. it's just full of omega three. Basically, it's like oh, okay, fatty yeah. acids. It's just good bacteria. Yeah, good. Not bacteria. Just good health food. It's not. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Nothing. That's not bad. Benefit, that's, that's, benefit yeah. to it. Any others? Uh, feeding a cold, starving fever. Yeah, that's pretty like not true at all. There's no suggestion no. that like doesn't prove that that's true no. at all. But I do believe that actually. I do live by that one. Yeah, I yeah yeah. Maybe it is like more of a placebo then. That yeah, one. they it, just you have in your head. Yeah, yeah. Like filling yourself up. You'll yeah. I always get it the wrong way around though, so it just, probably doesn't help. I just end up eating a load of food when I'm ill. Well, I feel bad for it, don't you? Well, sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. That was it. They were the last two. If, the, if you've got any other wise tales, let yeah, us know. Please let us know. I hope yeah. that's the right terminology we're referring to, but I think that's what they're known as, isn't they? Yeah. Old wise yeah. tales. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You got, you got what, anything else to discuss? We were going to talk about festival season, but. Yeah, I, th- I think we leave that to do. I think a, we'll like, do another episode on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you are going to a festival, um, please listen to one of our next podcasts that will yeah, be titled. It'll be at some point. 
Um, about festivals, yeah. Probably. <clears throat> Possibly. Yeah. But if you've liked the last two episodes, we, we kind of changed them a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, I enjoyed doing them. I think you enjoyed doing them. We've had a good laugh. So I think we keep doing it um, similar to that vibe is the best way of putting it. Yeah, we're just sort of talking about things that we're rolling off the bat. Yeah. Like in the past, we've had a bit of a topic that we're like trying to stay around and we try and talk about. But mm. to be honest, we're just free ball in this one. Yeah. And the last what? one. What animal do you think you could catch comfortably in your your hands? Mm, good question. Good like question. just just you 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 have to run at it as well. Like you can't be in a car or anything. You just it's you in a field or whatever, and you 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 run up and you catch it. You've got to hold it for ten seconds to be classed as a catch. There you go. I'm playing it safe here. I've got to think of one that's not too fast. You're not going to catch. No, no, no. Technically, isn't is it? <clears throat> Right, I'm going to be really a snail. an animal. I said I'm going to be a real, like, knob here. Oh, it's three naughty words. It's not a naughty word. It it's is. It's a part of the human body and a door oh. handle. Well, if you said that, yeah, but now it's a naughty word. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, naughty word. Oh, Mitchell said a naughty word. Oh. <laughs> That's what he just reminded me of, you saying that like that. <laughs> naughty word. It is. It's a naughty word. <laughs> oh, you snitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm telling. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, what was I going to say? I, I, yeah. See, I'm thinking, Stupid I'm not going to be able to catch like a rodent. They yeah. can be too quick, like a rat or a rabbit. I'm thinking like a snake. They're pretty quick, but I think I could gra- catch up with it. And, and if I grabbed seconds. it by the neck and it wasn't venomous... Isn't the whole thing a neck? No. Well, technically. <laughs> it's technically. like, oh, neck, 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 tail. <laughs> End. Wait, what's the head? <laughs> Is that... Well, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Uh, I think a snake. I'm trying to think of a better answer. Um, An elephant? <laughs> a sheep. Oh, come on. An elephant. I don't know why it made me laugh. <laughs> An elephant. Yeah, I don't know. It's funny because it's just impossible. Anyway, a sheep. <laughs> I No, you struggle with a sheep. Why do why do why do um why do shepherds have like sheep, sheep dogs. dogs when they can just do it themselves? If that yeah, was the that's case? a good point actually. Um, I don't know. A Maybe cat, capybara. Oh yeah, to be fair. Yeah. Although it's pretty big, I don't know if I'd be able to pick it up. I imagine they're quite heavy. <laughs> yeah, just like just a weight. I'm yeah. trying to think of one that would be like you've got to hold it every for 10 single seconds. capybara is called Bruce. Bruce. Yeah. No, a shark from Shark Tale is mm. called Bruce. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, Capybara. There's got to be a better name for Capybara. I think their name would be like Leo or something like that. Just really chilled out. Like, this is my friend Leo. And he's like, sup, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Frankie. He's he's on the back of a crocodile. <laughs> he don't care. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Mate, Capybara is mental. What? Oh, look at Stella over there. She That pelican trying to eat her. <laughs> <Just> mental. My, <laughs> but he, she too big. <laughs> Literally, you saying that, literally, that's where my head went. My head yeah. was literally thinking of the video of the pelicans trying to eat capybaras. Yeah. And the yeah. capybara just doesn't care. Yeah. It's just stood there, like, this <laughs> pelican's just, it. like, what wrapping its beak around him. Yep. And he's just like, meh, well, <laughs> this isn't going to happen, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's your title, anyway. Oh, what, capybara? Catching a capybara. Catch, yeah. Yeah. Well, what a lovely way to end. That's all I can say. It's a beautiful end. It's like dead on. Um... Time for home. Time for bed. Bedtime. Don't wear your socks. <clears throat> and if you see a bird, act natural. Don't forget to shout. No, just chuck, chuck it some nuts and be on your way. Oh no! Don't don't ever feed nuts to a bird. Isn't is that an old wise tale? But you're not actually meant to feed birds nuts, are you? You meant to bread. feed them seeds. Oh, but bre- no, that's <clears throat> bread uh, to ducks. Ducks, which is true. I think they'll get stodgy and yeah, it will inflate inside of them and they'll explode. <laughs> <laughs> it's the yeast in it. It's it's kind of true. I'm, 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 it's the yeast in the in the in the bread. I think it's bad for them. Let's put facts in theory. Rats. How much? How many slices of bread can I feed a duck? Before oh my god! Pops? We're not doing that. RSPCA or whatever, whatever animal company. We're not doing it <laughs> yet. Oh, yeah. oh, but yes. If you've enjoyed oh. today's episode, uh, we we're, we're gonna do something different possibly in the coming weeks so keep an eye out yes for possibly a change a change and in something. everything something no more maybe Mitch hopefully and Joel. it's gonna be a good change what did you say no more Mitch and Joel <laughs> no more Mitch and Joel we're gonna Joel. go like um, Jim from the office and we'll just have other people here or I'll just like you'll replace yeah, yourself just, yeah. and if like Joel's here <laughs> and just completely it's not you <laughs> anyway there we are we'll finish on that one 
yes. thank you for joining us today have a lovely weekend um stay stay safe look after each other and um watch that soap what does he say on the end of uh anchorman stay classy san diego yeah doesn't work because we're not in san diego but no but we not. need our own one um <clears throat> come on let's think of one now just as we're closing this one off um i don't know but i feel like it needs to be like shrimp shrimp something well if we had a rock band we'd be called shrimp biscuit wouldn't we <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, we'll think of one for the next episode, I guess. Yeah, yeah. If you can think of a, a closing thing for us, let us know. Yeah. yeah. Right, on that we'll disappointment. <laughs> oh, yeah, on that great disappointment, it's time to end. Yeah, cheery bye. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> see ya. Goodbye.